That's not English, Brian. It's German. (laughs) (laughs) So what I told you is true. Wrong, sir. Welcome back, everybody, to the monthly Patreon Q&A that is now public on the YouTube channel. Hope everyone is doing great. Um, patrons, as always, thank you guys so much for the questions this month. The theme of the Q&A this month was overrated, underrated. Could be anything in the realm of overrated or underrated. Um, and as I was just telling everybody before we started, I have not looked at these questions yet. So I don't know where they land in the realm of overrated or underrated. Super excited to see what you guys have for us this month. Um, we're hanging out. We're chilling. It's a Tuesday evening here. I uh, hope everyone's doing great out there. Jill, you got, I'm going to take a wild guess and say you got tea. It's tea. Okay, there you go. It's rainy. Yeah, oh, is it raining there? It's raining. Yeah. It dumped in the Bay Area for a solid like, hour like I've never seen. You probably yes. got what we got yesterday. Yesterday was wild here. It's, I heard you guys, it hasn't like stopped for like 50 hours. It like, hasn't stopped since Sunday night. So it's supposed to stop tomorrow afternoon. And then it's supposed to start again this weekend. So it's kind of like the beginning of last year where it just like rained a shit ton. That's how it is for us too. But we need it. That's the bad thing. Is that I know. I don't, I like the rain. I'm not mad about it. So do I, but I like it in like certain chunks. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, what we're getting right now is is it's a lot, but we need it. So. Yeah, give me like two days, and then it can go away for about a week. Like, <laughs> come back. <laughs> but yeah, what about great. you, Mr. Brian? I'm fine. Just still on the sick train. Uh, yeah, you might see muting for me. Chill. My coughing's been really bad today. So yeah, so just doing that. I'm glad you said multiple times that this goes out to the public again because definitely i told you you'd forget i know i'm gonna i I forgot too i told you guys you forget (laughs) forget every single month so just that initial like shot i'm definitely gonna keep it a secret at one point see what happens well i think i think the thing that will jog my memories every time is the intro because i'm gonna be like you never (laughs) do that so maybe i just don't do an intro one day and i add it in post and you know that could potentially be interesting but yeah, other than that, chugging along. Choo-choo. Nice, nice. What about you, Molly? Also <laughs> chugging along. Uh, you guys were talking about being sick. Alex thinks he might. Oh no. He, he, he's not sure if he's sick or if it's allergies. So he actually left oh. to go get uh, some allergy medicine. But I'm well, like, please get don't get the screen. It's not our fault. Yeah. <laughs> So, other than that, does he he usually have like really bad allergies? Yeah, I do too. I'm so mad if I could never smell, but I still get allergies. It's like (laughs) my nose doesn't have a point, but just screw me (laughs) over at this point. Oh, Um, his nose does nothing but cause him problems. That's that's, yeah. (laughs) I would at that point, I'd just be like Voldemort. Me, like that's still that's still wild to me. I forget about that every time it's mentioned that he can't smell. It just blows my mind. Nope. Yeah. That's wild. Um, all right. Well, let's get into this. So we have 23 questions uh, to get to. And I'm just going to go in order. Uh, it's the easiest way to uh, count them back here. So the first four questions are from Brian Nussbaum. Thank you so much, Brian. Uh, doesn't look like he stayed too much in the theme, but that's okay. So the first question is, what Disney animated, not Pixar film, do you feel is the most overrated? Ooh. Overrated? Lilo and Stitch. Wow. Yeah. It's a good one. I think I saw that once and I was like, okay. I thought it was, yeah, I think it's just okay. I don't understand <laughs> like the huge hype with like stitches like everywhere. And it's like, I get that he's cute and he's easy to sell merchandise for, but I just thought, I just think Lilo and Stitch is okay. Disney animated movies. I love Lilo and Stitch. Uh, in fact, did you guys see the set photo leaks? I did. Yeah. I'll watch it. He looks like a normal Stitch, not like a early uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, God. Um, Lion King for me. 
Fuck you. Dang. Them fighting words. Hot takes. They're very hot. Um, I, I think, think Lion King. Smart. I think Lion King's the perfect amount of rated. I think it I, deserves the hype it gets. I I could be very spiteful and just say one just to piss Brian off, but that's okay. If you say Hercules, I'm I know you're lying because it's just that, it's. That. I know you're lying about the Lion King, so whatever. Yeah, my thing with the Lion King is, I think it just traumatized me so much as a child that I have just built up like hatred towards it. So that's why. Not hatred, but just like disdain for it. That's why. If you don't like Hercules, that's fine. I just, I, I don't know how. Well, it doesn't have to be that you don't like it. It's just that you think that it's overrated. Mm, I have my answer. Inside mm. Out. That's Inside Pixar. Out. Oh, that is Pixar. Damn it. I might say Pinocchio. Okay. Because they, because because Disney uses it as kind of like their like, it's because the song, when you it's wish just, upon a star thing. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's one of the classics, but there's a lot of like really bizarre stuff in that movie, and it's just not one that I really remember that often. Dude, that movie is like effed up. Like, yeah, down to it. Like it's not. I don't well. Would would you consider that one like a, a highly rated one? Yeah. Would that? I mean, here's my thing: if it has a ride at the Disney parks, then it's pretty popular. And Pinocchio does have a ride at the parks, so that's true. I would go with either Pinocchio or Sleeping Beauty, but I do. That's two rides technically. Like ah, Sleeping, uh, Sleeping Beauty has a castle. Oh. Or would it be three? He has three rides: the giant whale. The Pinocchio yeah, ride. The giant the whale is Pinocchio. Isn't there? There's a little like a car one too, isn't there? For Pinocchio, yeah. There's there's so well the and, giant whale is part of the storybook land, which isn't which is kind of a combination of a lot of movies. That's so it's not but really. Yeah, a and Pinocchio. I don't I don't know if this is a hot take, but I'm gonna say oh, Emperor's oh, New Groove. That's, that's a no. That's a good. That's because people are like, oh, it's so underrated. I'm like, it's not anymore because everyone hypes it up so much. I feel yeah. like people hype that movie up a lot. Yeah, well, that's, that a, movie, that's a good answer. I love that movie, but that's a valid answer. That movie um, from Steph to get to. Okay, I'm gonna ask the question. Then I'm gonna run off for like five minutes. Ray is yelping in the backyard, so I gotta oh. go take care of it. Oh. Uh, Next question is from Brian. It's what is the most underrated comedy of all time? Underrated. So I married an axe murderer. <laughs> It'll always be my answer. It's one of my uh, favorites. Dude, where's my car? Is that <laughs> underrated? Oh, freaking... I don't know. I don't know it's if like... I've ever seen that movie before. I feel I mean... like that. Most people just think it's a stoner movie. But what it's is. funny. I'm curious what that is. Oh, well, I guess, I mean, it is the 17% on the Rotten Tomatoes. I mean, my easy answer would be the hot chick or white chicks. Easily. Either of those. But I don't know if white chicks is underrated like people love that movie mm -hmm. i mean they still do the halloween costumes i see every year someone does oh god like, dresses I up i think i've ever seen a hot chick's halloween costume me neither what mm -mm. there's always someone on instagram that does they it's because up. it's because instagram knows that brian loves that movie so much so it pops up on maybe the but there's always it's always like uh them dressing up for halloween and then they do the dance off scene like that's what I always, I always see. So, but never I'll seen that. that. One of those. What's yours, Jake? What? Well, what has been said? Uh, I said. Uh, so I married an axe murderer. Molly said, "Dude, where's my car?" And Brian said, "White chicks." Mm, that's that's Jake, what do you think? Answer. What do you think, dude? Where's my car? Has a Rotten Tomato score? It's probably like nineteen percent. Yeah, seventeen. Yeah, <laughs> pretty low. <laughs> Yeah, but I just thoroughly love Saltine. So, Saltine. Um, I I don't know why this popped in my head as the first. Mm, I don't know if that's underrated. I have one. It's a movie called Take Me Home Tonight. 
It has Topher Grace and Chris Pratt is actually in it. Anna Ferris. I think I might have seen that. It is, oh, so it's like so it's chunky Chris Pratt. It's good Chris it's chunky Pratt. Chris Pratt, and it has Dan Fogler, and there's a there's a cocaine scene with Dan Fogler that I fucking die at every time it happens because it's set in the 80s. Um makes me think of Hot Tub Time Machine. It is so Oh, good. I love Hot Tub Hot, hot, hot Tub Time, Time Machine, Machine is, is the perfect amount of rated. It is so I love good. that movie. Yeah. Um, oh, I might actually pick Little Nicky. I hate Little Nicky. I, mm. it's so I hate Little Nicky. <laughs> um all right, next one from Nussbaum here. What is the most underrated Disney attraction? For me, it's the People Mover at WDW. Oh, Walt Disney World. I love the People Mover. We used to have one at Disney. I, we did. I underrated. I haven't Ooh. ridden so many of them. I don't know. Uh, I'll I'll say I'll say, say the Storybook Canal since we were talking about it. Like no one goes on it. It's a cute little boat ride. You get to see like like little tiny. <laughs> not life size scales, but like scale down of like different like Disney castles and like different like little Disney sets. Like there's little Pinocchio. It's like super cute, and I don't know. I love that ride. It's fun. Yeah, there's there's just I I can't even name the ones I have ridden. And I'll say Matterhorn because everyone hates under, that ride. I, under, I hate the Matterhorn so much. Oh yeah, it. we rode that. I love and Gabby uh, loves the Matterhorn, but I can't love stand Matterhorn. That ride. I didn't care for it. You love the Matterhorn. <laughs> me too. Me too, Gabby. It was kind and of a rough ride. It's it very rough, rough which That's is what why I, I hate it. it. I, I love it. just saw like <laughs> a bunch of TikToks yesterday of like getting on the Matterhorn and it's like happy music and then getting off and it's like the SpongeBob going, my leg. Like, <laughs> it's better now that they finally like made individual seats because you used to have to sit in like somebody's yeah. lap and basically like headbutt them. It in was the a full on toboggan. Ride. Yeah. Uh, but now they have individual seats. So it's a little bit better. I can't think of an underrated. What's an underrated Disney ride? Um, the Alice in Wonderland. Oh, that's a I good do ride. love the Alice that's a good ride. One. That is a great. The Alice ride is good. <clears throat> That's a good one. That is a great one. I was gonna say, uh, I don't know if this would be considered underrated, but uh, I love Roger Rabbit in Toon. I was thinking that. Roger too. Rabbit. Yeah, I, I really love Roger Rabbit. It. I love because it's really it's an adult ride. Town. It's an adult ride in Toontown, which is why I was mm -hmm. like, yeah. So I. <clears throat> I do genuinely just enjoy the monorail. <laughs> the monorail, I do like the monorail. Like, the monorail's I, a good I, time. I, you want to know the fun fact? I don't think I've ever been on the monorail. Oh, the monorail's fun. What? Yeah. I, I mean, it used to be so cool, like when they had the Golden Gate Bridge in front of California Adventure, you just go through it. And so I love the monorail, but Al the Gabby's Alice in Wonderland is Alice like, is a good like, one too. Oh, I love that ride. That's like one of the only like dark rides where I will like wait in line for <laughs> it. I thought you were gonna say Mr. Toad's. I do love Mr. Toad. Mr. Toad's great. Have I ridden that one? Yeah, but you did on Star Wars night. We lost you guys. No, because no, we were we went to go ride Mr. Toad, but it was closed. So we yeah, I I to meet them at Mr. Toad. I have not ridden. Like, <laughs> probably 90% of the rides at oh my God. the Disney park. So oh <laughs> I don't know what my answer is. Oh my God. <laughs> I, I, I'll also say the Falcon we will ride. Go at, we will go at rope drop. We will get real schmammered and we will go on all the rides. I will also say uh, Smuggler's Run. I know a lot of people don't like that ride. I'm like not that. a Aww. Smuggler's Run fan. I like, it. I I like it a lot. It's okay. Ga it's Gabby not Larry worth a long goes, wait. Gabby just goes, it sucks. I'm not a Smuggler's Run fan. I like that. Well, Bo, Bo woke up, so she's in here playing with him now. So it fun. could do you could do more in it, and like it'd be cool if they could change <sighs> up the scenery instead. Like if they could change it, like they changed Star Tours, yeah. it would yeah. be neat. But agreed. Which I don't know why they didn't, but you know, yeah. it is what it is. They already spent too much money on that freaking land that they yeah. had. Dog, yeah. Sorry, uh, there's like nothing to do in Batu. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, next one. Final one from Brian. That's why I'm here. What is your favorite family movie? That's such a hard category. Because that's like that. Yeah, Ooh. that that encompasses a lot. There's Toy so Story. much in that. Yeah. Toy Story. Wait, what you say? Toy Story. Yeah, Toy Story. That's is a, a family movie. Jill, I thought you were immediately going to say Meet the Robinsons. No, because, well, 
It doesn't have to be animated. Keep that in mind. Yeah, well, it's just a family that. movie. Well, because I'm trying to think of one that like I do have a I do have a Nathan Robinson's tattoo. But I'm like Ooh, trying to think one. of I'm trying to think of one that I watched like as a kid with my family a lot. Like that's what I'm trying yeah. to like think of. See if I if I brought that up, my, I watched stuff like Varsity Blues and Underworld with my dad. So that's not a good. See, I watched thing. The Exorcist with my dad, that's so huge. that's not a good one either. So I watched yeah. Apocalypse Now with my dad. <laughs> Um, what a good family romp yeah um i have one just from searching that totally fits the build goonies oh that's a good one goonies is a really really good i don't know if it's my favorite but it, right it's definitely up there for yeah family. like movies like <clears throat> 16 candles and breakfast club yeah like, i watched those with my sister so i think those count um uncle buck oh that's so i'll good. do i'll do mary poppins Ooh, that's a good yeah, one. Yeah, I'll do Mary Poppins. That was a big one in our household when we were kids. There's video of me and my sister jumping around upstairs on our couch, dancing around a step in time uh, when we were like one and a half and three. So that was a that was a that big movie, movie in our household. Some damage in my household because mm -hmm. my sister and I immediately were like, Mary Poppins said we can have a spoonful of sugar. So. <laughs> Mary Poppins is always right. Yeah. She's practically perfect in every way. See, I don't I, think I, I ever wanted to eat a spoonful of sugar, though. <laughs> yeah. Me neither. <laughs> I grew up with two younger sisters, so a lot of the movies that were on for them were like the Mary Kate and Ashley. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. So Mary Kate me. and Ashley, like detective movies. So, and, like, it was like, all those. Sleepover. Oh, it was like God. those and Spice Girls and like all that stuff. Yeah. So, whenever I got a chance yeah. to watch something different, my dad turned me on to stuff like. Varsity Blues, Remember the Titans, Underworld, like the more adult stuff. So family movies are very rare in our family. My Jake, sister, my I... sister and I still sing the "Give Me Pizza," P I Z Z A. P I Z Z A. Have you heard the version that's like down twelve octaves and slowed down? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's terrifying. Yeah. Pizza. <laughs> Jake, I'm right there with you. I was the firstborn, so I was super sheltered, and then when my sister came they didn't care anymore so they it was just all the things that she wanted to watch so and she chose mary kate and ashley Olsen. oh it was mary kate nashley spice world Lindsay uh, lohan movies yes uh disney princess i was just no one disney knew. channel original movies that's what we watched mm. a lot of yeah uh-huh let's watch a disney channel movie I I'll never I, I don't know why but I'll just never forget when they when the actors of Disney Channel they drew the Mickey sign. Uh huh. Have you seen the TikToks of like people tracing out actually yes. what they? Drew? <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> it looks like garbage. <laughs> yes. I wonder if there's a way we could try that in the thing one time. Probably. Um, God, remember, remember how excited you guys would get for once a month whatever friday that was a new disney movie and it was just mm -hmm. like Let's the biggest deal channel movie. and then you go back and watch them now and they're such garbage um excuse me motocross is like an oscar motocross. award motocross is so, so bad it, it oh is no so it's so bad it's bad. good though oh it's so good i ro oh, i rode dirt bikes as a kid it is so bad mm -hmm. please <laughs> there. Oh, hold on. yeah there you go what I, I'm ask Abby what her favorite uh, Disney channel. She just was. said she loved Double Teamed. I was Double Teamed. Oh, Double Teamed. I didn't like, hear. My favorite was Smart House. Smart House. Smart House. Yeah. Yes. We well, did that for a, a watch along. That didn't go over too well. That didn't go. Over. <laughs> it went over great. I don't know what you're talking. about. Um, I don't know that that aged too well. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, all right. Next two uh, come from Curtis, Mr. Curtis Clam Sauce. Thank you, Curtis. Uh, in honor of Valentine's Day, what was mm -hmm. the cruelest? Way you have been dumped by someone. <gasps> oh, Never. I got one. So in middle getting real school, deep because I got two real bad ones. Oh, this was a so a guy I was sort of kind of dating, I guess, in, in middle school, as much as middle schoolers date. But he moved like right after the last day of school and didn't tell me. Rude. What a jerk. <laughs> and like, he, like ghosted you. Yeah, I, I called him and he was like, "Oh yeah, we moved." I was like, oh, okay, bye, I guess. Damn. Trash. <laughs> Trash. Sticking with ghost stories, I've also been ghosted. Um, but this was after three years of a relationship. <gasps> oh, my God. Yeah. 
Uh, it was the, the girl before I met Gabby, but it was years before I met Gabby. Um, we were together for three years, and uh, we lived in Idaho for one year because that's where her family was. And then she came back here and lived with me for a while. And oh her dang, wow! And her, you uh, followed her to Idaho. I went up there with her, yeah, for a year. Um, this was in 2012. Um, and her stepdad worked in the railroad, so he got transferred to Alabama to be like a, a chief of the railroad or something. And um, she's and then she had a four year old sister at the time. I don't know if that was a Bless sneeze. You know. I'm loving the background. <laughs> um, I know we do. Yeah. So cute. So, cute. <laughs> uh, so she had a four year old sister, so she helped her family move. And obviously, having a little sister, she was like, I'm going to go up there, help them move. Never came back. People are terrible. And she had a sister Oof. who lived here because she she grew up here originally, like as a young kid. And so her sister got all of her stuff. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Well, it After worked out for you. Together, so it was brutal. <laughs> Ruin, ruined me for a long time. Yeah. But it worked out. It worked out for you in the it end. It did work so, out. So yeah. whatever. Yeah. I've I've never been dumped. I've always been the dump. Damn. Dumpy. Dumper. Dumpy or the dump. I don't the know. Dumpy. <laughs> the dumpy. I've yeah, I've never been dumped. So damn, Jill's ruthless. Sorry. Well. Or I'm just that throat. cool where no one wants to break up with me. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nope. Brian. Nothing, Brian. Oh, what's a relationship? Hot to us. <laughs> what's that like? <laughs> what are those? <laughs> Have you not been ghosted? <laughs> I uh, I thought the question was laughing at you. Sorry. We don't well, have time to go through the amount of those, but we, oh, whoa, whoa. Then, yes. All right, fair enough. Moving on. Moving on. Um, next one from Curtis here. What would be the ingredients in your ideal milkshake? And then I'll drink it salt bird style. My bad, too far. Oh god. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say like, uh, what's that movie? I drink your milkshake. There will be blood. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's, yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, mine, mine's pretty basic. I'm a I'm sucker so for a good Neapolitan shake. Mm. I think like, it's taco vanilla, yeah. Yeah, oh. a, a Neapolitan shake or like a straw or like a strawberry shake where it has like <clears throat> the chunks of strawberry in it where it's like freshly blended with like a shit ton of whipped cream on top. Yeah. I go classic chocolate shake. I'm boring when it comes. I don't do milkshakes very often, Me but like, if it's like a really good restaurant chocolate shake, I'll get one. <laughs> you know, you know, Molly, you and I, we don't want to ruin the rest of our week by. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mil milkshakes are my go to. Whenever we go get ice cream, I get milkshakes. They're like my ultimate. It's my version of ice cream. Uh, but I always just go with a cookies and cream or Oreo. Ooh, cookies there's, and cream. There's nothing. Too. To me, there is nothing like. The amount of those I bought from Baskin Robbins. There is nothing like <laughs> sipping a milkshake and getting a chunk of the cream from Ooh, Noria. Yeah. It just, it's, oh, it's mm. so good. It's I like. So, I yeah. love <coughs> In and Out's chocolate and vanilla. In and Out makes really good milkshakes. Yes. So, yeah, In and Out makes really good milkshakes. They're really good. Simple but really good. Mm -hmm. They're super thick, which yeah, uh, it makes them last. Which a lot mm -hmm. of places like Baskin Robbins, when I go. I have to. I ask him to make it thick because it's so it's so Melty. liquidy. Most yeah. Of the time. yeah, agreed. Um, I do like a mint chocolate chip one if I'm feeling dangerous. Do you love a mint chocolate? Yeah. I I am a sucker for a shamrock shake. At my yes, place. I am a sucker yes. for a shamrock shake. I don't think I've ever had one actually. <clears throat> oh, great. I'm not a big mint. Got, I'm not a big. I love mint. You got ten days, Molly, and then. You <laughs> <coughs> All right. Next one comes from Billy. What would be the perfect Valentine's Day date? Uh, a date. <laughs> Woof. The perfect Valentine's Day date. Having uh, someone to do it with. An empty restaurant. Oh, that's yes. good. That's a good call. Yes. That's a really good. That's why we don't really go out on Valentine's Day or for Valentine's either. Day. Because, like, it's imagine. too busy. Mm -hmm. A lot of places have those stupid fixed menus yep. where you can't, like, order off their normal menu. and you're. Uh, we go the day before or day after now. Same. We did it last year. Doofus. <laughs> Doofus. Sorry, guys. It's hard for me not to open up. She's the fifth. <laughs> I I literally want her to have her own screen at this point. I love it. <laughs> the uh, baby cam screen. <laughs> mine, like if it was a fantasy world, mine would be like a like a 
a couple's massage and then do like one of those like chef's tables, like 12 course wine pairing meals where like mm -hmm. the courses are like yay big. Mm -hmm. Like one of those. Super fancy. Probably. Like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, it for me, I don't think it would like end in like one of the fancy classic Valentine's Day dinners. I, Gabby and I have always had fun when we go out and like go to like and not necessarily this, but maybe do a brewery. Or but that's like stuff we do anyway. Like this. Yeah, is but maybe like go go to like more like more of the expense. Like maybe instead of a brew, we go either wine tasting or to like a whiskey tasting or something. Like, mm. We're gonna end up on a hop somehow some star wars planet and like how how is that possible <laughs> how is that possible i like a wine tasting date that would be kind of fun mm -hmm. if i had to not had if i was lucky enough to pick i i i'm a homebody so i've always wanted to do like a either like a backyard like just lights and make your own little tent and watch like on a projector or even do that inside the house we did that inside once we did a yeah. little like pillow fort and we made yeah. dinner and yeah, it was fun lights and then so mm -hmm. that, it was just, fun and then you can order takeout or take something out. what's your ideal takeout then brian in California that situation <laughs> definitely not taco bell it's some oh, form of a burger. I know that. You don't want to do Taco Bell in one of those little confined. Why places. not? Well, <laughs> your own risk. Uh, I don't know. Just uh, probably re like real, not Panda Express Chinese food. Oh, yeah. like I something that you could like just pick kind of from. Mm -hmm. Like that would be an ideal. Yeah, nice. real Chinese food. No. We went to a spot um, just the other night that was uh, this Indian restaurant that mm. is pretty famous in Atlanta, but we just had never been to it. Mm -hmm. It was so legit. Like it, the place was packed, but luckily we had time, so we waited for a table. But that would be a dope. Still, never been night. to an actual Indian restaurant. Oh, it was so I good. Either, we ordered out. so much food. <laughs> I just found that I have a like a authentic like fancy Thai restaurant literally like Ooh. two blocks away from my house. I have no idea. <coughs> Jake, what was the name of the Chinese place you and Gabby always went to? Off of Fair Oaks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I don't remember like either. Show or something. It was something like that. Yeah, it was very good. Yeah, it was that was always a good place. Yeah. Um, Bo agrees. Yeah, he says, yeah. Yes. Chinese food. <laughs> One of these days, I'll get Chinese food. <laughs> uh, all right. Next two come from Rain Man. First one is, what's something that really grinds your gears? Um, smacking what? food. <clears throat> mm. When that people used to bother me a lot more than it does now, but it's still just like ugh. when slurping people... water bottles. When people bite on their fork. <laughs> When people bite on their silverware when they eat. Someone drinking out of a water bottle that's really loud. Really, You don't know how hard it was for me to keep. I literally just almost just shot that. I'm <laughs> telling you guys right now, everyone watching, you've never experienced someone who drinks something louder in their life than Brian drinking from his fucking hydro flask. Um, you Why is it so mom. loud? I think it's, I don't know. My mom is the same way. My, I think it's ge something genetic. It it's like they've been parched their entire life. I swear. <laughs> I think it's because we drink it so fast. Like, is yeah. it like the gulping sound, or is yeah. it just the yes. sound of like full oh. on, just like yeah? It it sounds like they're gulping outside their throat. Alex does that too, and like <laughs> most of the time, I just ignore it. But if I'm already pissed off about something and he's doing that, I'm like. <laughs> Stop existing. I, Stop I existing. have Stop. no control over it. I don't, I've <laughs> tried to not do it. Like, it just does it. I forgot. What but as, as a real answer, I was going to, I was just going to make a joke and say Rain Man's questions during these Q and A's. Really <laughs> wow. <laughs> what grinds our years? Um, There's got to be something, Brian. You work with kids. I know. I'm just trying to think of one. 
Ooh, uh, I thought of another one. When people comment on our videos without watching them. Oh, yes. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, if you would watch the video, you would know that yeah. that's not what we're doing. Mm -hmm. You know, it's stupid. <laughs> Come on, Brian. I was in so many. Uh, Just pick one. Basic. For I'll go work related when the kid that you always like get into it with that you, you may or may not 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 like is the one that always just randomly shows up into your classroom like he's your best friend favorite student and I'm oh. like why, why? <laughs> like, yeah you don't like me I don't mm -hmm. like you so why are you coming here on your free time like this is the last place you should be that is a huge one for me i immediately am just like on the walkie like can someone get this person out of here <laughs> yeah, that I don't, I don't get it because i just don't i've asked why are you here i don't know be like, get out <laughs> go find a new friend i'm not your friend Please. Please. oh god uh, next one from Rain Man says, what's the most useless non-trivia piece of information you know? Example, the little things at the end of shoelaces are called aglets. Uh, I don't know trivia? if this is true or not. I have always heard that the <coughs> on a necklace is called a dick. Hmm. I could be wrong, though, because <laughs> there was a joke. You know, now that I think about it, wasn't Someone funny. was probably fucking with you, Bren. Yeah, because they were like, oh, oh, I didn't wear one. But they'd go around saying to people that had necklaces, like, if it was facing forward, they'd be like, oh, your dick is showing. And then they'd... Yeah, that sounds fake. Yeah, I think so, too. Now that <laughs> I think someone just made that up so they could say that. <laughs> the only random fact I can even think of that I know at the top of my head right now is that King Henry VIII exploded in his coffin after he died. Mm -hmm. exploded yeah because he was so large like he was like way overweight uh so all the gases built up in him when he was decomposing and he exploded in his coffin and then blood was dripping out of it and the dogs like licked it up Damn. fun history fact of the day <laughs> oh my <Yeah>. god <laughs> look, look it up true facts so i just typed in what is the clasp of a necklace called <clears throat> and it's called the fastener so clearly not that but then right underneath it, it says Reddit. Why is the clasp of a necklace called the boob? Uh, and then when you click on it, the first answer is it's not. And that's it. Yeah, <laughs> so not. everything's done. Okay. So now I need to think of a real one. Hmm. Uh, I don't think this is real, but the skin on your elbow is called a weenus. A weenus. I, yep. That is true. That is, is that true. Real? <laughs> that is true. <laughs> that's I feel like a lot of people know that. Uh, all my useless knowledge is about Star Wars. And it's not useless for me, I guess, because it's my job. So, <laughs> What did I just see the other day of you saying something about it was like me when it's uh, extended universe novels? Oh, it Where was the it was like one of the Madam Web interviews where... <laughs> He was asking her if she could name oh. the Tom Holland Spider Man movies. And she's like, Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and she names just complete nonsense that's in the <laughs> Star Wars Legends books. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, I have one. So the famous line by Neil Armstrong when he stepped on the moon. You know, mm -hmm. uh, it's allegedly that's one stall. <laughs> one. <laughs> One small step for man. He didn't actually say that. That's not true. And he said it multiple times. Mm. And people have ran with it for decades, obviously. So, and that's straight from Neil Armstrong's mouth, which is interesting. So, <clears throat> I just picked a random one. I just went and found it. There's a city named Rome on every continent except Antarctica. <laughs> hmm. Antarctica was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't want it. Uh, next one from Curtis. Interesting one. In honor of happy hour, 
Let's hear Molly's getting caught having sex in a car with Alex story. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> uh, Wait, Jake, do you know that? Did you see that part? I of was Happy watching. Oh, okay. That is not on theme. I'm sorry. Who asked the question? Uh, that was Curtis. Greg. Greg. POV. He after. said he was going to ask it during the show or during happy hour. I like, wish Whoa. there was a more interesting story to it, but we were just at a house party and there I was, was gonna no say, privacy in the house. So no, the next okay. best thing. Uh, That's all so right, funny. continuing on here. Rain Man has the next one. What is Wait, the worst? Ask, who, who was it? The cops that caught you? No, it no. was our friends. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It wasn't they knew, like they knew what they saw what was going on. <laughs> It wasn't just like the baton on the window, like in uh, the movies. Okay. Uh, Raymond has the next two. First one. What is the worst nickname you've ever heard for a significant other? Uh, and he puts in parentheses, honey, sweetie, babe, lamb chop, etc. I hate bay. So I do I. It. I think, I think uh, bay and actually, I really don't like baby. I hate baby. Mm. I like, hate baby. Sometimes. I hate bay. Hate it. Um, my sister's husband calls her Pookie, and it makes me laugh. Oh. Well, that's from TikTok. Oh no, he's been doing that for since they got together. That it's like I forget what her nickname is for him, but it, they she's they've been doing that. For, I don't even know how long three years, four years. Pook, uh, yeah, along those same lines, Pookums. I've heard that one before, and I'm like, mm -mm. <laughs> nah. I, just, I, I was know. never a pet name person. Like mm -hmm. we don't yeah. we don't use pet names. Baby, yeah. Baby would be it's anything that makes it sound infantile, like and then it's just like uh, cringe. Yeah. I, I okay, I hate when uh husbands call their wives uh mom. Oh like, yeah. Mama, like, yeah, I know a lot of guys that do that. Yes, not, and I'm talking about the ones that like don't even have kids, like I like mm -hmm. the where it's like I don't even know how to. Have you ever? You remember when Mike Pence was VP and he he oh he yeah only refers to his wife as Mama. Mm -hmm. Like that's what I'm talking about. Where it's like. Should we be concerned? Like, it, that's, that's like it's different level. if you're calling them that, like in front of the kid. Yeah, like obviously that's but or yeah. like Jake, you've said, uh, like, uh, like a, something like for Gabs, and it's like that makes sense. She is mama to the baby, mm -hmm. not the weirdo Mike Pat saying mama yeah that especially if you're older and your kids are all grown up yeah. like that yeah feels weird that's a hard pass for me <laughs> uh final one for raymond here what is your super bowl tradition eat food buffalo chicken dip eat, yeah, food that's <laughs> pretty much just it yeah i don't really have one yet mm -hmm. i hope to have one eat food um, and watch the game mm -hmm. yeah it's pretty much beer. i think that's pretty much everyone's tradition at this point we were we were home for half of the Super Bowl this year, so. I mean, we if I can get together with people, then great. But usually, it's just get a bunch of food and just sit on the couch and do nothing. My yeah. new tradition is going to be making football Star Wars crossover memes. Ooh, nice, yes. they do nice. well. On Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> I want to do. I always forget to do it. Uh, like a bingo mm. during those are fun too. I've, I've never put one together cause I don't know football well enough to, but I would play. I like the squares. Yeah. You like mean Kevin you're talking about like actual bingo, right? You're talking about actual bingo or like the score squares. Like the betting score squares. Which one? Oh no, no. Like, did you see there was a trend on TikTok for a while of the wives? Uh, they watch, the football game with their husband and it was like oh like him yelling or saying this phrase. yeah mm, okay. like something like that except if i'm alone just so stuff like that. that happens yeah, yeah either, it could it. be a certain commercial or something like that. gotcha gotcha yeah 
Um, all right, next three come from Harrison. First one, most overrated and underrated MCU characters. <laughs> uh, underrated, I'm going to go, oh my God, Natasha, not Natasha. Uh, Yelena. Yolanda, yeah, Yelena. Yolanda. I'm going to go for her. Yelena, I'm going to go with her as underrated. Overrated? Cap. How <laughs> dare you? Gross. I was thinking that one too. Gross. Sorry. That's so fake. That's pretty accurate. That's a bunch of Iron Man followers right there. Obviously. No, I was Team Cap. In, I was Team too. Cap in Civil War. I was <laughs> Team Cap in Civil War. Fake. But yeah. Fake. Overrated. Cap. Honestly, Sham. I don't know if this is considered underrated. I'm gonna go Nebula. I That's underrated. Like I love Nebula. Love Nebula. Um, overrated. Maybe I'll stick with the the dudes and say Star Lord. That's who I was thinking too. Um, That's a good one. I have an underrated. I'm just gonna. I'm. It's, kind of recency bias but i've been thinking it since the very beginning uh captain marvel i think is underrated yes i just think i just think she gets so much hate because people like to hate brie larson for some reason i, I don't, don't understand, understand it me either. um overrated is hard because then you start to think of like all of the popular characters and how many popular ones there are um uh, I'm, I'm go ahead i'm oh, sorry i thought you were i i don't know if i 100 percent am all in on it but i'm gonna go ant-man is overrated Oh, really? Paul, Paul Rudd's Ant Man. Oh, I love Paul Rudd. I love the first Ant Man movie. I don't know how much I've loved him since. Mm, that's fair. That's fair. I think I might pick, and this doesn't mean I don't like the character, but I think I'm going to pick Doctor Strange. And I love. I thought. About, I thought about that too. He's one of my favorite all time characters too. So it's like. But I don't know. He just. I just don't think they've utilized him enough. I don't think they know how. I mean, they yeah. literally just said, uh, I heard the other day that they're going to, they have to create a way so that way he doesn't appear in the fear, the first Kang dynasty. And I'm like, that's what you just did. That's what you did for Infinity War. And you sidelined him to hold the waterfall in Endgame. So it's like, what's the point of having this dude if he's just going to, you're just going to sideline him every time? Yeah. Like, no, that day. Yeah. Uh, she's fairly new, but I'll say underrated Kate Bishop. I think I was, she's. I was so gonna say weird. underrated. Yeah, bro, that I, that I love her that ending too. scene in the Marvel. Yes, yes, <laughs> yeah, she's gonna be hilarious. She Haley Seinfeld. I just love Haley Seinfeld. Yeah. I just love Haley Seinfeld. Also, Miss so Marvel. Great. Oh my God, I love her. Oh, so much. God. Yeah, oh, God. she's great. But at this point, is she is she underrated at this point? Like, no. I, yeah, I don't know. She's like a list, like perfect for the MC right now. Maybe are... before the the Marvels came out and it, yes. she just had the show. I would say definitely underrated for sure. The amount of young girls who are like, oh my god, mm -hmm. right? Her That's adorable it. Indian family is just the best. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Her, her parents. <laughs> that house fight was so funny. Mm -hmm. So funny. Molly, did you watch the whole se her season, the Miss Marvel show? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. It was good. It was good. Um, all right, next one from Harrison. Do you like going to water parks? I do not anymore. The no. one here had like a big E. coli breakout uh, when I was yeah. a kid, and it was gross. And I liked it before that happened. Me too. <laughs> I did. I liked water kid. parks before I knew what happened at water parks. Me too. Yeah, same. Before I realized how gross they were, and now I'm <laughs> yeah. like, mm, I don't know if I'm gonna be sharing water with all these people. Yeah, same, same. Especially after the girl in Love is Blind is like, yeah, I pee in the pool. Uh, yeah, I just learned that chlorine actually does nothing. No, mm -hmm. it doesn't. It literally That's why people are like, don't go to bars like in pools, like a pool, like a pool bar where it's like you don't get it out of the pool. Because it's like you yeah. see all these people in the pool and drinking and you don't see them getting out of the pool. And it's like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Um, water. We went to them a lot when I was younger because there was one. I think when we were when we were kids, that's when like they were at its height. Like yeah. it made sense, right? Well, now you, today you it's, just, what, it's just raging different. waters. It's just different now. Gross. Like, um, 
Thank you. All right, I do love a lazy here. river, though. That was the lazy best thing river. about going to Whitewater was the lazy river. <laughs> uh, next one from Harrison here is, if you could be in a thruple with an existing TV or movie couple, who would it be? <laughs> that's such a good question. Only TV and movie? TV or movie, yeah. Okay. That is, that's a great question. <laughs> mm. uh. mm. Ooh, this one's hard. Mm. There's so many answers. I know. Mm. We just did a couple show on POV too, and I'm trying to think of the couples I mentioned. Oh, mm. well. Mm. Yeah, but even the couples I mentioned, I don't know if I'd want to be in a throuple with them. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I'm gonna go uh uh Loki and Sylvie. Oh that that's yep. a really good answer. Okay. I'm gonna go Loki and Sylvie. That's a really good answer. Mm -hmm. Cause they're like kind of a couple, but also not a couple. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great answer. I'm gonna do Loki and Sylvie. See, I have a well, I didn't have a pick, but I don't want to be in their world because I'll die. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Like, if circumstances are different, I would say Jackson and Allie from A Star is Born. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Lady Gaga and, and yeah. Bradley Cooper. Bradley, Cooper. I, Bradley again, would just be there for ish. shits and giggles. <laughs> I go. Oh, well, he dies. So spoilers, he dies, and so like Whoops. I'm there to pick up the pieces. There you go. <laughs> Jake, did you pick yours yet? No, no I'm struggling. I'm, oh I'm struggling. It's kind of hard to like just think of a specific couple. That you would <laughs> yeah. want to be included in. Jake, would you say Mr. and Mrs. Smith? Didn't you bring that that's up? Like, that's that's so, a really good which answer. Which ones though? <clears throat> which 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 Mr. So I would Mrs. do Brad, I would do Brad and Angelina. Oh that's no, right. Donald Glover the all the way. Yeah, I I so the uh Donald Glover and Maya Erskine on the TV show, their their chemistry is incredible. And they're a really good couple on screen, but to me, like yeah, Brad and Angelina is a really good. I. It's hard not to also pick Corey and Topanga because Topanga. Oh. Like she was like the first, right? Yeah. You know, and Corey is um, such a dork, though. I know it's it's <laughs> yeah I know it's tough. Uh, you gotta love him. They're a pair. And then I could also go, you know, someone like Clark and Lana or Clark and Lois from Smallville because mm, yeah. at one point Clark and Lana aren't a thing, and then I'm there to pick up pieces, you know. <laughs> So, yeah, it's there's a lot of answers, but just for the sake of it, I'll stick with Corey and Tamanga. I think that's what I'll go with. She was the first crush. So, Jill, who'd you pick? Loki and Sylvie. Oh, that's right. I it's all mine. Gonna, I thought you were going to say Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy. Yeah, that uh, was good one too. That is also a good one. <laughs> I get to cheat the system and say if I pick Sensate, that TV show, I just all eight of them at the same time. That how that <laughs> they said a thruple, not an octuple. Yeah. <laughs> um, I. If it's if I'm not living in their world, because I would die pretty much immediately, it would be the uh, John Krasinski and Emily Blunt in a quiet place. Oh. That they would be too be quiet amazing. though, too silent. Too That's quiet. what I'm saying. Too I'm not quiet. living in that world because I would die immediately. Uh, it would not last more than a minute. <laughs> <laughs> like it, it'd be just donezo very quickly. So there's that. too many options. That's a really good question. Thank you, Harrison. Yeah, that's a, fun, that's a fun one. I like that one. Um, all right. Next two are from Blake. First one is if you could adapt. Oops. You could adapt any book into a movie. What would it be? Corn Thorns Ladies. and Roses. <laughs> <laughs> Give Kurt us that TV. Damn it. Actually, I'll say A Court of Mist and Fury. I want to see that movie. 
the whole thing. I'm, I've got like three hours left of it, and I'm just, it's just like, yeah, getting it's right a banger. back. Into it. Yeah. I, I want Gabby to listen to them. I wonder if she would get, like them. Probably. You, it depends. I mean, like, is it, I don't know. She's, I've never actually physically seen her read a book. So no, 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 no. Her and I, I set the audio books. Mm. Cause, yeah. cause Maybe. Like, like the ones that I the audio dramas. To. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The audio dramas. Um, yeah. I mean, it has to be, Oh, I'll just to be different. I'll say my, um, my Swedish family one that I always talk about the Bergman's brother series. Jake, what about you? So I'm, I've never really been a huge book reader and I know this will never happen, but there was a, and I'm forgetting the name of, of it, but it was by James Lucino. He did a, a star Wars book between episode two and three, where it was basically Anakin versus Grievous. They were hunting Ooh. Grievous. Well, who was that? Love it. Look it up. It's James Lucino. I would love to see that story adapted in the Star Wars universe, but I don't. It'll never happen. But it's prime Anakin as evil. Say it again. Labyrinth of yes. evil. I would love to see Labyrinth of Evil. It's Anakin, a little bit of Obi Wan, and Grievous hmm. in between two and three. It's it's incredible storytelling. Um, but I don't have any other kind of like book recommendations because I, I was never a huge reader. It was not really my thing. So. Um, next one from Blake is if you could have a Pokemon as a pet, which one would you choose? Easy. Oh my god, this is the hardest question of my life. <laughs> Eevee. Uh, Ooh, I'm, Eevee's a good one. Eevee's good. Eevee's I was gonna really say good I was gonna one. say Charmander because he's my favorite, but Fire Tail. And you could set fun. everything on fire. Yeah. So I'm gonna do Eevee. I like Squirtle. No, oh, Squirtle. What? What? Do I yeah, Charmander. Me? Charmander is like my usually my go-to. Mm -hmm. I he'll burn things down by accident because he's got a little fire tail. Do I pick my favorite Pokemon or do I pick like a cool one? What is that? Ooh, the the little ghost one would be fun too. Ghastly? Which one? I don't one? know which one. Hunter? I don't know Pokemon that well. Gengar? <laughs> Let me There's so many. There's it's literally a ghost type. There's <laughs> a lot of ghost Pokemon. <laughs> That's a hard question. There's a lot of Pokemon out there. And I'm trying to think of the favorites that I always gravitated towards as a player. I can't I mean, really... Very... Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to just cut you off. Gengar. Oh, oh, Gengar. Oh, the yeah. big old teeth. <laughs> <laughs> He's like the Cheshire cat where he kind of just disappears in his face. Mm -hmm. He's cute. I mean, my favorite is Poliwhirl. Really? That's yeah, I don't know why. I, ever since I was little, like I just attached to that one. I don't know why. So I mean, I guess him. Mm, yeah, I might stick with Jill in, in the Eevee. I think that's a good one because mm -hmm. then you might you can evolve into three other ones if you really wanted to. You can evolve into like eight, eight or like, like nine. nine. <laughs> okay, sorry, I'm thinking of the classic. But yes, you're right. You're right. You're right. <clears throat> I almost thought Gyarados, but that would be hard to upkeep. That would be. Where's where are you going to keep him in the pool? <laughs> no, I don't know. That's the problem. I have no idea. Where are you going to keep him? I could just see uh, Hilo and Pippin arguing with Squirtle. Squirtle. Like what? Pippin would just spin him. <laughs> he would destroy him. Yeah. All, right, all right, we have six questions left. Can you get through? Hmm? Oh my God, we've gone through twenty. Something already. Yeah. Uh, next one is from Harrison. His final question. How bad or excuse me, how good or bad are your ice skating skills? Good. I'm actually shockingly very good at ice skating. Hey, I don't know <laughs> why. Too. I'm okay. I don't I don't think I've been like since early, early days of me and Alex dating. Well, Mr. Damon. We had a, we had an ice skating rink in the town next to us growing up in uh, we used to go all the time. It was kind of like a thing that we used to do. It was it's was called the disc. <laughs> we used to go all the time. We have oh, the yeah. we have the ducks training center rinks that mm. we can go to. Can you like spin? <clears throat> uh, very carefully on both <laughs> on both feet. I can go backwards. I can skate um, backwards. Yeah, yeah. But like yeah. I I'm fast. Like yeah. I I don't know why, but I've always been very good at ice skating. <laughs> 
I'm good at uh, rollerblading, so I think I'd be me too. pretty good yeah. still. That's you too? that's where my skill came you from. Too? I was a big rollerblader growing up. Mm-hmm. Roller roller hockey. So it, Bo wants to go that. ice skating too. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, I'm gonna ask this question, and you'll get his little bouncer. He might he might need some time in his bouncer. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah. Selvin with the next questions here. A really good burger or a really good slice of pizza? Oh my god. Burger. Pizza. Burger. Because you could do like, so much more with a burger than you can do with that's pizza. That's what I think too. I burger has too much bread on it. Get a get a lettuce wrap. Get like a protein style or it's this the lettuce and wrap kind and like what they do at In N Out. Yeah. It's like the bread. There's a there's a new burger place by us that we want to go to, and it's got like mac and cheese burgers and peanut Ooh. butter and jelly burger and burgers with like mozzarella sticks in it. So we're like, oh, we're gonna go check this place out because it looks really freaking good. That's I think good. I think I do burgers too, burger. even though I get the same thing like every time. Me too. I'm a sucker for a blue cheese burger. Me too. Mm-hmm. Well, I love my really? favorite is a barbecue bacon cheeseburger. Ooh, but yeah. If I'm feeling spicy, I'll put blue cheese on top of it too. Barbecue mm. sauce on burgers is so good. Oh, mm. yeah. So good. Did so everyone pick good. burgers? Yeah. I went I'm pizza. Oh, um, well, that's right. I'm only on pizza. I, I think I'd go burger too. Because I as I mean you can do you can do a lot with either of them. Um but just a good burger, there's nothing like a good burger. Yeah. yeah. Do you agree? Yes. Yeah. I think you wait. He's like, yeah. stop talking about all this food that I can't I know. have. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I can't have it yet. Don't do that yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah. I know. Uh, next one here is from Selvin. What is what is one thing that almost everybody has done, but you haven't? What? Ride all the rides at Disney. <laughs> <laughs> Been in a relationship. <laughs> um... <laughs> That's my answer, actually. So, <laughs> seen a live action Disney movie? God. You haven't seen any? No. no. <laughs> wow. I don't know. Um, I don't know why at me. this point is. I need to just sit down. And I think one. you'd like Cruella. Maybe because it's kind of different. It's not. Yeah. Oh, uh, I'm gonna say seen all of the Lord of the Rings movies. That's a big one. Yeah. If you moved to Atlanta, you need to. That's uh prerequisite i think ah, is it though? Prereq, is it though? <laughs> they, january 1st they were re-watching. i'm not going to their house and just going to watch <laughs> lord of the rings <laughs> you're welcome to i can't even watch it at my own house let alone at other people's houses i'll be like i'm gonna go nap <laughs> we fun. have we have done a full day of watching all three movies before and it's that's a it's that's a little a bit pass, tough after me. you get through like the second movie it's that's a lot of movie for one day. I'll be in the poop room with Pippin. <laughs> y'all, y'all have fun watching. <laughs> watching Lord of the Rings. You guys should paint that room brown. Ew, so, no. Like, it's not-, not the poop room anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like it's the guest room, but really it's subtly Pippin's poop room. Yeah. Pippin's poop room. <laughs> I'll make it. a little plaque and put it on the door. <laughs> yeah. Pippin's like a room. light brown on the wall. <laughs> Be perfect. What was the question? Oh yeah, I, yeah, I already picked mine. Our no, question no. reader left. Yeah, now we sit in. Off- <laughs> oh well, well, since he's gone, uh, Jill, I had a perfect idea for you in your wedding. Oh God, okay. Gold goblets. Uh, <laughs> for love is blind. <laughs> That would be kind of cute. I don't. It depends on what the. I would do it because it would go with like our theme. Yeah. But it depends. I don't. Uh, the <laughs> venue provides all the those stuff, so it depends you, on what. It the could be something that like just you two have, or just no, the wedding I, party I has. <laughs> I could do for the wedding party. We're it using my perfect. grandma's old crystal champagne glasses for mm. for ours. That's my something old. It would. Uh, be you could so do it for the bachelorette party. <laughs> yes. Can Everyone gets a gold like, goblet. The joke of like having the gold goblets and then eventually you get your wedding photo, but it's all different times, but all the goblets are always the same, so you never <laughs> know. Yeah, the editor would love that. Uh-huh. <laughs> Sorry guys, what was the what did everybody say? I said Lord of the Rings movies. Mm. 
Okay. What was the question? What is one thing that everybody has done, but you haven't? Oh, a relationship. Okay. Mine is all Disney related stuff. Mm. Disney, seen a di live action Disney movie or ridden all the rides, the parks. Mine's easy reading, reading all the books that everybody's so gung ho about. <laughs> you want to read Harry Potter, Potter. Huh? I'll, I will, I will gladly give you if, the... if I, if I have the time or I'm curious, then maybe yes. Smart, smart. <laughs> Jake's gonna be mortified. <laughs> it's not even that bad. I've oh, definitely no. read far worse. It's not smut, period. Yeah. At least not where I've gotten to. <laughs> oh yeah, you haven't gotten yeah. I've, I've read the first two and so far they're see and I'm insane. I'm on book four and I have read far more <clears throat> uh intense. I, I think life. that one's the smuttiest, to be honest. <laughs> At least maybe, maybe it's just the memory of the last one, but the fourth one is. Yeah, Can no. that, I, maybe maybe it's not as bad. But when you're listening, to, it's like that. Oh, if you're listening to it, it's probably the a secondhand bit embarrassment of just mm -hmm. like hearing someone. Yeah, that's fair. So maybe that might be. That's why. fair. Interesting. Hmm. Curiosity <laughs> might be peaked. Oh. Um, <laughs> Alex might read it too. Okay. Sean was Sean was thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, the last three questions here are from Jane. Thank you so much, Jane. What is your favorite Spielberg film? Oh, oh God, put me on the spot. E.T. I think mine's Jurassic Park. Which is so cliche because I think it's pretty regarded as like the favorite jaws that's a pretty good one jaws is a, i mean there's so many options jaws he has that's so many good i mean saving private ryan like are you kidding that's me like that's a good one there's Ooh, so last many. crusade yeah in oh really no well yeah. yeah indie i mean all the no, you know what? I, mine's Raiders Indie of the Lost movies. Ark. Mine's Raiders of the Lost Ark. Why is it, what the hell's going on? Raiders, no, Raiders of the Lost Ark, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just shocked everybody watching. Sorry, guys. I, I was just no, like going I, through a list and I saw Raiders. I completely I spaced. My Last list. Crusade and then I was like, oh yeah. Those. Yeah. <laughs> As I, sometimes I forget that he, do, he did those. Yeah, me too. They, they kind of feel like George Lucas did them. Yeah. He's, yeah, he kind of like dips his toes into like a bunch of different yeah. stuff. So it's hard to remember what he's actually directed. I'm going to stick with E.T. because I loved that movie as a kid. Mine actually just genuinely might be Jurassic Park. Can't go wrong. Mm -mm. Not go wrong. I was going to say that I did really enjoy Ready Player One, but I think... Oh, I do really like Ready Player One. West Side Story was really freaking good. I'm he just, just gonna go he Jurassic never Park. misses. Like he does. Hook is a good one too. Oh. I've never seen that. Oh, look. That might have watches. To be a That's a POV watches right there. Yeah, damn right yeah. it is. I have not seen that one. It's a good one. That one is so adventure. much fun. The, the Adventures of Tintin. That's a really highly regarded animated film. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, all right, next one from Jane here. What artist have you been listening to recently, music wise? What artist recently? Not like an artist. Up more recent than most. My Lord and Savior. It's <laughs> Taylor Swift. Yeah. Mm. Not for I, me, it's not an artist. I've been listening to the Has Been Hotel soundtrack on like repeat recently. Is that, is that like yeah. a show or something? It's a new, that. it's a new adult animated uh, show on Amazon Prime. They came out with the pilot on YouTube like three or four years ago, and then it got picked up by um, Amazon. But Has Been Hotel and Hell of a Boss are both amazing. But Has Been Hotel, it's like a bunch of like Broadway stars are, mm. are like in the cast, and oh, it's so good. Nice. So that's what I've been listening to on like repeat. I've been listening to a lot of Bayside and Story of the Year because we recently that sounds like Sean. <laughs> we recently saw Story of the Year, and I was like, I only know like one or two of their songs actually, and so I started listening to them. And then uh, Nick is also on Thank the Maker podcast, and I was like, you know what? I need to listen to some of his band stuff too. <laughs> They're good bands. Yeah. I don't really like li listen to specific artists. It's I put on Pandora or at work. We have a Google 
what is it called? Like Google Pixel or whatever. Mm -hmm. So we just ask it to play like certain time errors, stuff like that. And for me, it's always kind of been like 90s alternative is always the one that I go to the most. Yeah. Um, so something around that range, which is Linkin Park is probably my all time mm -hmm. dance. That makes sense. <laughs> Apparently, I was I was going to look through my music to see if there was anything less basic. And I had Twitter open. The very first thing was some latest in space. There's an object that's oh, like I saw that falling towards the Earth, but it just happens to look. It exactly looks like an like X-wing or a Tie Fighter. Yeah, <laughs> it's literally like all the comments are like, "Wait, <laughs> real? <laughs> it's a satellite." You, didn't, you yeah. didn't see that Gareth Edwards is going to direct the next Jurassic Park movie? Did that get announced? Yeah, I love that choice. Wait. Me too. I love really? that. That is such a good yeah. choice. Okay, because that actually kind of draws me into the, like... <clears throat> I don't okay. know who that is. So One of our friends, too, does a bunch of... He did Rogue One, One, Jill. He did the oh. 2014 Godzilla movie. Okay, good. Yeah. Those are good. Um, good. He's, he's, that's a really good... Because he's a small-time director who then went to bigger movies. That's a really good choice. And it's the from the script... It's from the script who did the the guy who did the original Jurassic Park movie with Spielberg. Oh, okay, yeah. so that makes me a lot more. I'm a lot more excited now that they're doing that because they can get back to a smaller scale story, which I think is what they need. Wait, is Chris Pratt going to be in this? No. Say, no, it's a whole new cast. Okay, good. Then I'm in. It's a it's a whole new a whole new adventure with whole new people. Cool. Let's I wonder it. if it'll just be like the same like thing, just different results like the original just kind of like done differently i hope they i hope it's exactly what they did with jurassic park 3 just go to the island mm -hmm. again just have another dinosaur story with with the island like that i, mean, that's I really love it jurassic park 3 that's what i'm saying i like it better than the second one personally so do i so that's the one where the dinosaur says alan right yes yeah okay so i, I love that. that in a dream in a dream yeah, I, I was like, wait, when do the dinosaurs talk? Yeah. <laughs> um, that's a really good th uh, thank you for the news drop, Molly. That's Ooh, awesome. Yeah. Um, well, th save this as a memory in time that you beat him to movie news. I've got like, <laughs> hey. I've got, like three of What's them. The I forgot what they were, but I know that they're on my belt. It's a Star Wars director. So like, uh, and we have a friend who does a Jurassic Park podcast. And so he immediately like tagged us in a tweet about it. And I was like, oh, fun. I gotta go shoot a TikTok for it now. That's awesome. <laughs> With Bo. Um, all right. Last one of the Q&A for this month. Jane finishing off here. What is the best birthday you've had as an adult? Oh. <clears throat> Hmm. I'll say mine was my 30th um, when we did uh, the brewery in Sacramento. Oh. All my closest friends came, hung out for a little bit, stopped by. Um, I've never really been like a huge birthday guy. Like I've never needed parties or like to do something major. Mm -hmm. um, no one like, needs a party. Yeah, but like, like I don't care to like – have a huge celebration like like on thursday gabby and i are just gonna go to dinner and yeah. my mom's gonna watch Bo, and that's all i really need for my birthday so um i'd probably say my 30th you know obviously like 30 is always like a milestone but mm -hmm. a lot of people came out and stopped by and hung out for a while which was nice why so. can i not remember what brewery it was that was at the barn oh yeah 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 okay that was that was actually fun <clears throat> mine might be i think it was when did we all get vaccines was that 2021? 2021. Yeah. yeah. So I guess vaccines started rolling out in April, March, April. And then my we threw a party here that May once everybody was like fully vaccinated. And it was just really that was nice before to we have knew, I think. people over. I think that was before. Was that was before it? you were part of this? I think that was before no. you were part of this. No. Was it? I think I had done this. It was okay. yeah, my my time is all messed up. Sorry. Yeah, <clears throat> but it was just nice to have people at the house, and then yeah, but that was just like a really fun birthday memory of finally get to seeing a lot of our friends after so long. Yeah, mine was also my thirtieth. 
because that was when everyone was in town for Schmodown and we all oh, that was that the LA bar. trip. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, that, mm -hmm. that was fucking crazy. Yeah. That was super fun. So that's probably mine. Although the I, cake Molly I, I got me for my birthday even. this year was probably <laughs> the best cake ever. With mermaid, mermaid cake. cake. Mermaid cake. <laughs> that's fun too. But yeah, my 30th probably because that was, everybody was there. That was fun. Yeah, that was wild. That bar was well, because we told bartenders. Like, well, like, we told them. Yeah. I told them. I was like, "Oh, there's gonna be like 20 people," but then those 20 people invited like 20 more people, and they invited people, and I was like, "Shit." <laughs> yeah, Bo. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. That was my my thoughts. Exactly. Uh, you haven't even had a, your birthday. You literally had a birthday. Oh. You yeah. had a birthday. Yeah. <laughs> you haven't had your birthday. The uh, original birthday. <laughs> I don't ever really do anything. Um, like Jake and Gabby, when we lived together, had to like force me to do something. Um, I mean, I guess the one time, so the first year we lived together, when my friend and his ex girlfriend <laughs> threw me a surprise party, and it was, I, I had been saying, like, for a while like surprises don't work on me like you're never going to be able to surprise me and they absolutely like because they did it the day before so it was the fourth not the fifth and my friend was like demanding that we go to dairy queen for lunch oh i love dairy queen and i was just like i don't want to and he just, get the fucking car and i was like oh okay and when i we came back they were all in the house and it was like, it's really nice. and I was like, oh, thank God I didn't say something stupid when I was walking inside the yeah. house. <laughs> so, yeah, probably what, that. Was that your 30th, Brian? No, God, no. Uh, Are you sure? Yeah, that would have been. Uh, I guess it wasn't 20... that long ago. No. <clears throat> One, two, three. That was like six years ago, right? I came up to SAC. When I was 24, celebrated my 24th, 25th, 26th. I think it might have been my 27th, hmm. 27th or 28th. Because I lived in an apartment three years, then one with you. So that, I think it was 27, 27 or 28. Two, two with me, but that's okay. Who's counting? No, I meant, I said three years. And then the one with you <laughs> was the first one. Because it was my our first one that we lived together. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. So I think 28, 27. I don't even remember what I did for my 30. I think Couldn't we, tell you, my man. I think we probably... I have dad brain now, so don't count. Yeah, you guys dad probably dad like made me go somewhere with you. Probably to Mas Taco or something. Probably. <laughs> like, yeah. it, would, it would track. So yeah, Probably. I don't really know. All right. Well, patrons, thank you guys for the questions. A uh, lot of good questions. A lot of fun questions this month. Thank you guys so much. A lot of good opportunities for clippage. On the social media challenge, uh, yeah, how channels. dare you? Um, yesterday. what her yesterday? Oh, trying to you get you brought that. up pegging. I <laughs> was quoting the trailer. I still have to, I still have to clip that one, so uh, still made it clippable. Um, yeah, <laughs> uh, but yes, uh, if you're interested in asking questions here on the QA monthly, because this does drop on YouTube each and every month at the very end. You can join for $5 or more, and you get to ask uh, four questions every month regarding the theme or just in general questions for us to answer as we do this every month. So Questions appreciate... about things that come up on happy hour. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, we're said, very intoxicated. <laughs> he said in the chat, I'm bringing this up. In the <laughs> Man of his word. <laughs> um, but yeah, so check that out. Links are all in the description for the Patreon. Um, all of our social media channels, our personal social media channels. So to everyone who got to ask questions this month, we appreciate you guys. Uh, any final words, guys, before we wrap it up today? I feel like next month should just be Bo like had some partying. Fun. That's the theme. Since partying? Party. Yeah, since it's St. Patrick's Day. Uh, right, yeah. Brian, Brian said it. There you go. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Having fun. <laughs> That's All right. Well, uh, thank you guys so much for everything. Hope you guys have a great rest of your Bo, week. Oh, take us out. 
Uh, he's, he's currently feeding and he's oh. very excited to feed. So uh, thank you to the patrons once again, and we will catch you guys next time. Bye, Bye guys. Bye.